the Kings signed Zach Levine to a gigantic offer sheet, and then the Bulls had a decision to make. What are they thinking in Chicago? They made the decision quickly. They're going to match that offer sheet. They have until Sunday to do it. A lot of pressure on him. Can he go and be that go-to guy for this Bulls and this young core that the Bulls have? I've never been through this before. My agents were, you know, really like guiding me through it. And I wanted to just take my mind off it. So a lot of times I was out here, I was just working out. And, you know, it gets to a point where, okay, well, Chicago's here and Sacramento's here. Like, if, you know, you don't have to, you know, sign this offer sheet with Sacramento and Chicago, you know, we think it's pretty much gonna match it regardless. I got a call and said, you know, we're gonna keep you. And it didn't take long for us to match that. You know, Zach, you weren't ever gonna go anywhere. So that made me feel really good. You know, I was very happy. I wanted to be in Chicago this whole time. You know, it's tough coming off an ACL injury, and I feel like, you know, coming back, I knew I was going to have some good and some bad games. There's a lot of things I still have to work on, but, you know, I definitely showed I'm still, you know, the same person. Towards ACL, he didn't have no offseason, and he didn't have no training cap. He played 24 games, and everybody expected him to be, what you call it, be good, regardless what happened. People don't care. Now that he had an offseason, now that he's going to have a training camp, he's back. You know, I'm still the same player and I'm still hungry. Everything is going to be perfect and I'm the hardest critic on myself. He was a great kid, man. As a dad, I was hard on him, but everything I told him to do, he did it. There is nothing that any coach or anybody can say to me that I ain't already heard. You know, he mind tricks you. Zach would be in tears and he's screaming at him and it was just like, it crushed me. Oh my gosh, you can't talk to him like that, you know? It's, he's just a little kid. Over the years and with him explaining, I kind of got it. This is a process, we have to do this. You know, I said, the higher he goes up, the coach is gonna talk to you a different way. So we need him to be immune to this when he gets older. There was a point when I thought, just, he's not you. You've got to let him be him. But I knew he had to keep doing it just because he was special. Every night he went to bed, I used to tell him, I love you and make sure, you know, do you really want to do this? And yeah, dad. He had a vision and he's the reason why I'm here. He gives me that mental toughness. It's a miracle that he's here hearing all the stories that he has. He was a former NFL player come really hood part of San Bernardino, California. See ya. Love you. Well, Me and him have a bond now to where it's like, you know, you can't break that. I heard him say my dad's my best friend. It's like, oh my goodness. After all the stuff that I put him through. My mom, she's the glue of the family. You know, she worked two jobs for seven years to be able to, you know, allow me to go to camps and play basketball. I gave them this out here. This was a big thank you, you know, for everything they've done. I named them off the basketball players. This one right here is Kobe. This is LeBron. And that's Maya. These are actually my dad. These aren't my dogs, these are my dad. These three right here are my dad's dogs. This is the oldest one, Cosmo. White English lab. And then my dog. Come here, Kane. Come here, buddy. Come here. Yeah. Zach's a great adult. That's what we wanted. He has a sensitive side. He's just thoughtful. He cares about people. <laughs> yeah, oh my goodness. See, always had a baseball bat in his hand. So it actually started out with, with baseball at first. Yeah. And here, him and his sister. His sister always wanted to be around him all the time, you know, when he was playing sports. I have a close circle. I got about three, four friends, and then my parents and uh, my girlfriend, that's about it. 
he wants me to go to all the clubs with him. Mm -hmm. He wants his mom to go yeah. to the club with him. He's Come very yeah. family oriented. I communicate with him all times throughout the week. The older you get, the more closer the bond gets. The time I do get to spend with him is, I cherish it. I was you were 16. 16 when I got so drafted. So yeah, I was still in high 18. school and he we were was kids. in the league. Yeah, so we were kids. And that was definitely a, a jump. 23, she's 21, we're still kids, but we're just growing up together. It's definitely been hard over the years. It's tough, long distance relationship is tough, yeah. but I think it shows that, you know, if you really love and care about somebody, you really, you can make it work. I'm different anyway, and I always have been, and you know, I've been with Hunter since I was 18, and uh, you know, the same way I felt about her back then is just grown now. I have a lot to prove. Jabari got a lot to prove. Lowry do. We all do, and we're all pushing each other to become, you know, really, really good players. And I feel like that's the main thing. Competition brings the best out of everybody. Feeling good? Yeah. Good. Good. Don't run around. No, let's do that. This is an exciting day for the Bulls organization. We feel this signing fits perfectly into the direction we chose. We're adding another young, talented player to our roster. Like John said, I want to welcome the family. Uh, we're excited to have them back and have Jabari back in Chicago, and we want to welcome you home. First and foremost, I want to thank God you know, for giving me this opportunity, especially coming back home. No better way to live my dream as a kid by playing down the street from where I grew up. Thank you for the Bulls organization for taking the chance on me, and I'm gonna do my best to fulfill their wishes. How would you describe the pressure? Why this player at this time? I'm curious how you feel Milwaukee managed your career how well. How does two ACL well? surgeries yeah. and coming back from that change you as a person yeah. and as a player? Did that sort of really expect the Milwaukee fans such that you're here today? Obviously, different. How are you different than? The last time a bunch of people gathered in a room to hear you announce, talk about your basketball future. I had a couple of hurdles in my career that filled up a lot of my time. I don't want to forget all the hard work that I had because to forget that I hurt myself and came back is to discredit a lot of my success because that's in and of itself something outside of the norm. Like nobody does that. So I want to always remember the setbacks and the failures that I've had in my career so far and just use that as a sense of motivation. I just want to be a trailblazer for a lot of people who are going through struggles because obviously to not have difficulty in your life is unrealistic. Being a part of this team is something like I admire just because we're the same age. We're going to build friendships on and off the court and that's what it's about. Once we grow closer, we get better as a team. I'm going to learn as much as they learn from me as I learn from them. This is just off the record. I would have never imagined this. When the Lord shows up, he shows out. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's a given. When they say it's written, it's written. running stadium steps today. We're looking for power, power burst, power output going up the steps. It's a 10 to 12 second rep. And then they've got basically 45 seconds to recover, get down and then go again. So it's basically repeat power conditioning, kind of specific to the sport of basketball. Get up! Come on, Come on, Come on, we got guys pushing each other here and holding each other accountable and that's where the, the real value is. On you! Here we go. Go B, come on. Hell yeah. You know, it's big for everybody to be here in the summertime. When you're in here competing, going hard as you can, running, that makes everybody push themselves. And ultimately, that builds a trust factor of your teammates. Come to the gym each and every day and give it your all. Your teammates trust you a lot. My teammates got my back because each and every day I come in with the same mentality, you know, go as hard as I can and, you know, just leave it all out on the floor. When you're grinding for something, want something, you know, grinding for a certain goal, you have to grind as much as you can.
get a good three or attack that basket and attack the rim. Coach, okay, defense, we need to talk. Yeah. Yeah. Talk. Yeah. Defense up three, one, two, three. Defense. <laughs> the effort you put into defense is the first thing that matters, period. And I think that's going to be our main thing is getting that effort to make sure it's there every night. We all have to take initiative as a team to figure it out as a whole what we're going to do to get stops. And there's going to be times this year where we're going to need them. I just like being that dog, you know, that's who I am as a person, that's how I play. I'm gonna just bring that intensity to the game and, you know, that hard work, that fight. Good job, boy, good job, boy! Our coaches do a good job of putting the game plan in for us each and every game. Um, they take their time with it and, you know, we follow their, their individual game plan. Okay, this is an offensive drill, passing drill, fundamental drill, Denzel. Okay, you gotta communicate. You gotta let Rolo. You gotta talk to him. Hey, Mark, 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 please, yo, please, yo. Some of these guys, just being around them, you start to realize how good of just an NBA player that each guy is. We've been able to bond a little bit, and I just want to do whatever I can to help this team. Good job, KD. Intensity is at max 24-7 for me being a rookie in this league just to have a support team behind me. I feel like that's important. I'm a team player and I do whatever I have to do to win. When you play against great players every day in practice, they're going to push you to be even better. We're going to push each other. We're aware of the capabilities of our team and how far we can go. Hopefully I can add is just another sport. We're going to give you our all, especially me, because I love it here, and I'm just looking forward to a new chapter in my life, especially being back home. Bar going today. <laughs> The goal is for the season to improve, you know, individually and as a team for the fans. I love the support of them last year. That means a lot. We're ready this year, ready to roll, ready to come together as one. We don't push each other, we don't be competitive, and we're here now, we're hungry, and uh, you know, we're ready to go for it. Run with us, because it's going to be a great year, and we're just as excited as y'all are. What's up, everybody? This is Zach Levine. For even more episodes of Run With Us, you can go ahead and click this link over here, somewhere in this area. Click that, man, see more episodes, you know we got it.